history abounds at Dealey Plaza, as do the conspiracy theorists. We saw white smoke coming from the grassy area. Including Mark Oakes. He's convinced 50 years later more than one person killed President John F. Kennedy. And so the verdict isn't out yet if you don't know all the evidence. He holds court on a prime piece of real estate, as does Robert Groden. Certainly, the shots came from more than one direction. There had to be a conspiracy. Groden occupies the infamous land known as the Grassy Knoll. That is the former Texas School Book Depository building. And on the 50th anniversary of JFK's assassination, visitors still come by the busload to get their own view of what happened. What was it like to be here in Dallas as those days unfolded? And that's what we create on the JFK Trolley Tour. From either communists to Cubans to Jimmy Hoffa or the Mafia, Howard Willens has heard it all. This was the most extensive criminal investigation ever conducted in the history of, of the United States. The staff counsel of the Warren Commission, which concluded it was the work of the lone gunman Lee Harvey Oswald, does have a theory of his own on why conspiracy beliefs won't die. I think there's a, a very heavy emotional content to the perspective that people bring to this event. This was, after all, a charismatic young president uh, whose uh, campaign song was High Hopes. A young president whose death gave birth to countless doubters. She main maintains shots from the grassy knoll. Who are still trying to rewrite history today. John Moan, Associated Press, Dallas.